The orthocenter of a triangle is the point at which the altitudes of a triangle intersect. If the triangle is obtuse, the altitudes will intersect in the exterior of the triangle. To construct the altitude, we need to remember that the altitude of a triangle is the perpendicular segment from the vertex to the opposite side of that triangle. To construct the first altitude, I'm going to take the compass, put the point at the vertex, and open up the compass enough so that I can make two small arcs along this side. Now I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to put it on each of those points of intersection. And I can adjust the compass. I can open it or close it further. What has to be true is that it has to be over halfway between the two intersecting arcs. So with that in mind, I'm going to draw an arc from one side and I'm going to draw an arc from the other side. I'm going to take my ruler and connect that vertex with that point of intersection. And this line is perpendicular to that side. Now we'll do the other two altitudes. The point where these three altitudes intersect, right here, is called the orthocenter. Now I want to show you what happens when you have an obtuse triangle. The altitude from the vertex of one of the acute angles to the opposite side is going to be a little bit tricky to construct because if I try and draw a perpendicular from this point to the other side, Notice that I'm outside of the triangle. So what we need to do is extend that side of the triangle so that I can get my altitude. Well, the first thing you need to do is extend the side. I'm just going to use a fine line. And now I'm going to do the same thing that I did in the last example. I'm going to take my compass. I'm going to mark off an arc on both sides the compass. Now, if you don't have room on your paper, you can certainly change the compass. Just make sure that it's obviously more than halfway between your two intersecting arcs. Now let's construct the other two altitudes. Notice that all three of those altitudes had to be extended to find the point at which they all intersect. This point is called the orthocenter. The orthocenter for an obtuse triangle will always be outside in the exterior of the triangle. 